In this video, I will provide you with a few different ways you can find the angle for a skylight tunnel. So let's go ahead and get started with our first one, where we are going to come square off of the top of the roof. And this is one of the more popular skylight tunnels. And it's usually easy to figure out the angle by using a framing square. Simply line the top of the framing square up with the top of the roof rafter. Or grab a piece of plywood that has a 90 degree angle on it and simply tack it into place until you can make all your marks. Over here, we're going to keep our 90 degree angle, but we are going to change this angle. And of course, this one here is the one that I personally have built the most skylight tunnels out of. And again, that would be a 90 degree angle here, and then we would just change the angle here. This angle can vary, and there's no specific angle for that one there. And in our next example, we have a plumb line here that you can get with your level. And again, we have our 90 degree angle over here. Another popular design. Next up on the list, let's go ahead and head over to this one. We have changed the angle of both sides. And some architects might call out for this angle here to be the same as this angle here in which I don't have an easy way to calculate that one. So if you're looking for an easy way, skip this one here. Next up, let's go ahead and regroup here, give you an idea where we're at, these designs here. And then we'll head over to this one here where we have two plumb lines. These are plumb or vertically straight lines and will be easy to figure out with a level or even a plumb bob. Now, what if you're going to have a situation where the architect or building designer doesn't want to see any skylights from the front, yet would like to have natural lighting in the front? This might require a longer tunnel here. And keep in mind that once you get into this right here, you're going to have a difficult time finishing these wall surfaces and of course could have a difficult time cleaning these areas also in which case a removable skylight at the top could drastically help clean these or maintain these areas so an example of that would be you could remove the skylight and maybe access this area here and then access the lower section with a ladder and if I was going to build something like this I would put some three quarter inch plywood down here and then install my drywall over that. That way, if anybody ever steps onto these areas, they're not going to be falling through the ceiling. And hopefully that makes sense. And we can always use a smaller skylight with a smaller tunnel. Again, smaller, longer tunnels are going to be difficult to finish and clean. And hopefully you learned something here. If you did, feel free to hit the thumbs up button. And don't forget to check out our website for other videos that you might have a difficult finding anywhere else. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, let us know by hitting the thumbs up button or letting us know in the comment area.